guys, it's time for another Tutorial Tuesday, and guess what? We're starting our Christmas in July projects. I'm going to start off with this planner for Christmas to plan out your month, your shopping, everything to do with Christmas, your meals, and so forth. I have elastic closure, little charm on the front, little cut apart on the front. That would be a good page marker. Love this. I have a little clip here. It's on a little small clothespin that I got at Hobby Lobby. This little girl is vinyl, and it also came from Hobby Lobby in the stickers. It was really cute. They come in a pack of six, or I believe they do. Love these. And then the book is laminated. We'll go over that in a bit. It used the full 12 inch width of the paper. Inside, we have a little pocket and some cut aparts. Have a pocket folder with receipts. Got a December checklist. I believe we have a monthly calendar coming up. Yes, we do. So you can do the month at a glance, some shopping lists, all kinds of things are in this book that we're going to make. This is also a weekly calendar, so you can put in the four month, four weeks, excuse me, leading up to Christmas. And then Christmas decoration planning and ideas, so you can plan out your shopping or plan out how you're going to decorate your house. Christmas parties and events. Christmas menu and recipes. Each notebook is not real thick, and you can add to it, though, as you go. It's left so that you can add more pages in. Our Christmas traditions. This one, you can add photographs and words describing all your Christmas traditions. Have a matching pen. I added paper in here. Nice elastic to match. We have a little pad in the back so you can make notes and rip out the pages as you plan. I did a little jumbo paper clip. That poinsettia came from Hobby Lobby, of course. And a myriad of things you can do with it. Got a cute tassel charm, a little bell. So we'll put this together together. I just thought you would like to see some of the things I did. This is the large paper clip and has a little Santa on there. But there are a lot of things you can do to dress up your planner. I sold these last year at my craft show, and they were a bestseller. I only made about six at a time that I took with me. They sell better mostly in November, so people have a lot of time to plan for Christmas. So, let's get started, y'all. So, when you look at the paper pad, the first thing you want to do is kind of take everything out, and you want to break it apart, and I like to decide on my cover and my folder first, and then I decide on what I'm going to cover my notebooks with. The first thing I decided on, I went through this pad and I deconstructed it and looked at the back and the front and there are many beautiful pages in here and I should be able to get at least two of those planners out of this one pack of paper. So I think the first one I'm going to choose is this poinsettias for the front. I just love poinsettias. To me, they scream Christmas, and I think it is beautiful paper. When I laminate it, it will be shiny and durable, and it will just make a beautiful addition to the front of our book. So I think that's going to be my front. This is some of the cut-aparts that came with this collection. We'll put some of those in some pockets. We'll use them to decorate. Got a few things in mind. And then for our folder, I think the first folder I'm going to make, I'm going to use this paper. It's the holly leaves and berries, and you can't get more Christmas than that, right? So I think that will be our folder. And of course, that will be on the inside, and everything will be folded up. For our notebooks, I really love this paper. On the back, it has some cut-aparts, but sometimes you have to use it also. There's some more cut-aparts. I love, love, love this paper. This is very similar to the one I showed you on this notebook because this is also Echo Park paper, but a different collection. So that might be one of our notebooks. And I also love this red. This also comes across really pretty. That will probably be a notebook. And this one as well. So we'll just see as we go along. We'll see how this book comes together. Thank you for stopping by our channel today. If you're new here, we hope you will subscribe by clicking on the red subscribe below. Make sure you ring the bell when it comes up and YouTube will let you know every time we upload new content.
We upload videos five days per week offering a variety of DIYs, trash to treasure projects, paper crafting, hauls, and craft show information. We just know you will find something you like here at Crafting Cousins. And we will make the cover for our planner first. We'll need the entire width and then we'll cut the height at seven and a quarter inches. Now we'll score our paper on the 12 inch side using our scoreboard at five and three eighths, six and six and five eighths. And now we'll fold on the first and the last score line, leaving the middle score line. And now we'll round the corners. Now let's make our pocket folder. We will cut the width at 10 and a half inches and our height at 10 inches. Place it in our scoreboard and we'll score it on the 10 inch side at five and a quarter. That is exactly half and then we'll turn it and score it at seven inches. Fold on the score lines and then burnish and then we'll cut it at a slight angle to make our pocket. And now we'll round those corners, being sure everything is nice and straight. Let's round all of the corners and then come back and do those inside corners as well. And then we have a cute pocket. Using our art glitter glue, we'll close the sides of our flaps. It only takes a thin bead of glue because art glitter glue is wonderful. Have you ever used art glitter glue? I use the five mil laminating pouches to laminate my covers. This brand is sold at Staples. I will use two pouches of lamination for the cover and I will cut each one at six and a half inches and overlap them at the center, sending it through the laminator with just one the first time. I selected our compliment card I'm going to use this red card that says Joy, and I want to laminate it while I have my laminator out. I'm just going to use one of my scrap pieces that I cut off to make my cover. I'm using my laminator that I got at Staples, and I'm just running it through for the first time using just the one piece of lamination, because I want it to adhere well before I put on the second piece. And now I'm placing the second piece across and they overlap in the middle and will give a great spine. We, this book will be very durable. And now I'm running through my compliment card. And finally, running that cover through for the third time. You want to make it sure that it's stuck down really well. And now I want to trim off those edges. I will just use my paper trimmer. I want to leave about an eighth of an inch all the way around. You want to make very sure you don't get into the air pocket because if you do, the lamination could peel up. It doesn't always, but it can. And now using my scissors, I will round all the corners off. And I even cut a little bit more off because I thought my cutter just didn't do the pro proper job it should have done. And now I'm folding on that first and third line. And now let's start punching those holes in using a 1 8 inch hole punch. I punch one hole on each of my score lines. And then as well, I place one in between each set of holes that I've punched. So that gives me a total of five punched holes on each end. One on each score line and then the other two are centered in between the sets of holes. And then I also need a hole in the center of my book to place my elastic that will be the closure for my book. I'm going to use my big bite and line it up from top to bottom, placing it on that middle score line. And there you have it. Now let's get ready to string some elastic. I cut 56 inches of the red elastic to string into the planner. 
Burning the edges helps in threading it through our journal, but it will still need to be cut when it starts to unravel. I first push the elastic through the middle hole at the top. I pull it all the way through and leave a tail that is past that center hole. And then I turn it on the back and go to the side and pull my elastic through again. And then when I turn it to the inside, I go straight down to the hole that corresponds below the one I was just in. If you notice, when I string these holes, I'm going to the side in the back and then always vertical on the inside. So horizontal on the outside, vertical on the inside. I'm going straight across from the hole I just came out of. Once again, pulling it taut, but not too tight. And then I'll go to the side again. I have to pull my other elastic to the side a little bit to give me plenty of room to get it through, but it will fit. I turn it and straight across once again at that third middle hole. Flip it to the back, moving to the side, pulling it nicely. And then when I turn to the front again, I'm going straight up. I'm going to pull my elastic tail that I have to the side so that I can get it easily through the hole. Turn it to the back, thread it through the side, and again, straight down when I get to my inside. One more time across to that last hole there, which would be my fifth hole, and straight up at the top once again. Now we'll go sideways or horizontal, pulling my threads aside so that it fits easily through the hole. And I'll go straight down on that hole four. It gets a little unraveled after you've done this several times. And then finally, Cross in the back, you can see there's a skip place. Pull it up, and then I take my two tails and I tie them together using two or three knots. And that's how my elastic is strung into my book. This gives me eight pieces of elastic that I can put various books into. And I'll just cut off the excess and again burn those edges. And now for the middle hole. I'm going to cut my piece after I wrapped it around my book to get a good size, burn those edges. And at first I'll tie a knot and I'll try to thread through the folded piece through the hole in the middle. And usually that works. But this time I was not successful. So you'll see me untie that knot and push it through from the front, one piece of elastic at a time. Sometimes you just have to do it the hard way. So we'll pull it through and again tie a knot. Sometimes it just takes a little work. There we go. We have a pretty good hold. So I adjusted it one more knot. I love how this is turning out. Let's put in our folder. Not too bad. I can't wait to finish this book with you guys. I hope you'll follow along. Next Tuesday, I'll come back and we'll work on it some more. Here's our compliment card. I'm gonna trim that up and get that right on the front. This book will be sure to keep you organized for all those Christmas parties and get togethers and traditions. 
You can make notes and place pictures inside, and next year you'll have a head start. I love how this turned out. Thank you so much for watching. If you saw something you liked, I hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and any suggestions you might have for us. We would like for you to tune in all week for Made It Mondays, Tutorial Tuesdays, either a Hump Day Hauls or a Wednesdays, Trash to Treasure Thursday, and then finish off the week with Craft Chat on Saturday mornings. See you tomorrow!